Hello ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to create super awesome PowerPoint presentations that look like this, well, then just keep on watching. That's good. Recently, I have launched my new course on Udemy, which is all about parallax and making your PowerPoint presentations super awesome. Feel free to check it out, link is in the video description. First 50 students get 50% discount. And today's video is a preview of one of the bonus lectures that my students get together with the rest of the course lectures. Enjoy! All right, so let's jump into the action and this is how the final result should look like. As you can see, we have some beautiful photos inserted. We will need six photos in total for this project and we will create six slides for this you know, whole animation to work. So let's just open up a fresh blank new presentation. You can always set your slide layout to blank so that you don't have any image placeholders. All right. And you can always go to view and activate guides because guides will help you to see where is the center of the slide. Beautiful. So now let's just jump to unsplash.com and find some beautiful portrait pictures. So it's important to note that using portrait pictures in this case is really useful because we will have some vertical space that we can use to scroll our photos. So please use, uh, you know, portrait photos. It will make this whole animation easier for you. So let me just copy these six beautiful photos into PowerPoint. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so now the next step, we need to make sure that we crop each of these photos to landscape aspect ratio. As you can see in my example that I've done previously, all of the photos are cropped to 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So let's do that. Because, you know, <laughs> this will help us to scroll the pictures up and down, as I mentioned previously. So now let's crop all of our photos to aspect ratio 16 to 9. Uh, let's see if we can select all of these photos, Ctrl A to select and crop them at the same time. Uh, looks like we will have to do this one by one. So just select each photo, go to crop aspect ratio, and click uh, 16 by 9. Uh, don't worry about the positioning of the photo inside of the crop area for now. We will adjust it a little bit later on. And don't worry about the exact size. We will make the size of all of these photos equal as well. So now let's just crop all of them to 16 by 9. Beautiful. All right. So now we have all of our photos cropped. And now let's make these all photos to have the same width for example 19 centimeters all right so i think we can select all of the photos and hit width 19 centimeters voila and now we have perfectly equal six beautiful photos all right so this is how the layout of the photos should look like so i think let's just move around these photos a little bit so that we can better see you know the the layout so I think we can place this blue image in the middle. These two photos, we can paste them into, you know, different slide. We will use them later on. Let's just leave them here. And now we can work with these four pictures in slide number one. So let's just align this uh, blue picture in the center and middle of the slide. And we will, you know, align the rest of the pictures according to this, you know, picture in the center. So let's just grab this picture at the top. Let's leave a little bit of white gap here. And let's do here the same. And let's make sure that these white gaps are equal between all of these four photos. This one as well. All right, we can even select all of our photos and go to align options and let's choose distribute vertically. So this will make sure that those spaces, you know, between the photos are equal. Beautiful. 
All right, so now let's take care of the positioning of the photos inside of the crop area. So this is important point, you know, in this tutorial. So let's just uh, select each of the photos. So let's start with this one at the top. Let's go to picture format. Let's click on crop. And now let's just move this photo upwards a little bit like this for this one as well for this one as well let's move it upwards because later on we will move it downwards <laughs> so that's why we needed to move it upwards so that we have some space to move it down afterwards so you will see how it works it will be much easier to understand all right So let me just check how this picture was cropped. So I think we have it pretty similar here in our example. Beautiful. All right, so now we can actually duplicate this first slide. So let's just hit Control D to duplicate. And here on the second slide, make sure that transition is set to morph because morph will help us to animate these photos. All right. Now we'll need to move all of these photos upwards. So let me just make a copy of this central image. It will help me to align, you know, the photos when I move all of these four photos upwards. So now this orange picture should be in the middle aligned with that, you know, previous blue image. So now I can delete this blue image because now everything is positioned correctly. All right. So now all of the photos, you know, have moved upwards and now we need to adjust the cropping and now we can move actually all of the photos a little bit downwards inside of the cropping area so let's start with this top photo for this one as well a little bit downwards for the orange picture as well let's move it a little bit downwards and I will show you on the uh, full screen, you know, what kind of effect do we get by doing all of this, you know, positioning inside of the crop area. All right, so let's check it out on the full screen. What kind of result do we have? And as you can see, the photos are scrolling inside of the crop area and we get this beautiful parallax effect. Easy peasy lemon squeeze, ladies and gentlemen. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have enjoyed this bonus lecture preview on how to create awesome portfolio parallax animation. All of my parallax course students, feel free to watch the full lesson on Udemy, lesson number is 43. And as always, you will find PowerPoint slides attached to the lecture. Feel free to download them and experiment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the course!